So as a follow-up to my video about how to make DIY barbed wire for home decor, I'm going to make a ring with a sort of a pseudo barbed wire effect. What you're going to need for this project is 20 or 18 gauge copper wire and you're going to need your tools. I have round pliers, flat pliers, cutters and my ring cone. So I'm going to start with an 8 to 10 inch piece of 20 gauge wire. Just fold it in half just give that one a little bend and crisscross the wires just like that. Leave a little bit of a loop there and then what you can do is take your flat pliers and we're just going to twist it. So just take these wires and just flick of the wrist twist it around like that and you don't want to put the barbs at the back of the ring so we're just going to bring this one around and twist it towards the front. Depends on your ring size. I usually make the entire ring about two and a quarter inches long. So we can just go here and imagine where the front of the ring is going to be. So this can go from two and a quarter to one and a half. And then this could go from one to one and three quarters. And then you have about three quarters of an inch in there where you can put the barbs. Maybe not quite that wide because you don't want them between the fingers. So I would just twist it a couple of more times. Okay, just one, two. It's going to be a lot of trial and error. You might want to practice with some uh, inexpensive wire. Now I'll take a two inch piece of the 20 gauge wire and slide it in between the wires and then just bend that around once and then another time to make sure it's secure. And then now we're going to twist these. So we're just going to twist them a couple of times. One, two, because we want the barbs to be pretty close together. And then we'll take this one and wind it around a couple of times. Just one and two, just to get it like really, really solid. So there we go. You can do just a single barb in the middle or you can take an, one or two more and do the same thing we just did. I'm going to wind it a third time so they're not too, too close together. And then I'm going to stick this one in here and then just bend it around. Okay, we're going to bend it around a couple of times just so it's secure. And then this one goes up and then we're going to keep twisting. So now we're going to hold that and just twist it again. One, two, three. And then this one we also have to twist. So this one comes around to the front here around and around again. Perfect. And then from here you'll see, so probably two is enough because you don't want this part to be too wide. And then we're just going to keep doing our twist until we get to about the two and a quarter inch. So we're going to measure that. It's just about there. And so what I want to do now is I'm actually going to take one of these bend it around to clip it off. So we're just going to clip that one off there so it's flush and push that end in so it's not scratchy. From there we'll finish off our barbs and then we're going to finish the ring. So we're just going to take these, clip them to whatever length you want. I really don't think you want them too high or it's going to be a little bit scratchy. So it just depends on you and how you wear your rings, how careful you are. If you want it to be a novelty ring. Now we're going to take this little reamer here. If you have a file it's fine too and then just stick the end in there and then go around it to really soften it up because you do not want these to be scratchy. I guess if you had some kind of torch you might be able to do it but I don't know how you would torch the ends without ruining the rest of the ring. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to finish these ends, just let me know. You might even be able to put a dab of some kind of um, sealant or something on them. I'm not sure. This is an experiment. So we're just going to file the ends and keep going with those. So we'll just double check they're not too scratchy. That's not too bad. And then we're going to put them on the ring cone, bring them around, and then take this end this ends a little long so we're just going to take that end and put it through here 
take that, bring it around, and then clip it off. So this ring isn't adjustable, but you can definitely make an adjustable type ring uh, as well. I have a few uh, videos I can link up below to show you how to make an adjustable ring. So this ended up being a little bit small even, not too bad. So we're going to round it out on the ring cone, and there you have your funky, somewhat dangerous barbed wire ring. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.